Hello, boys and girls. Welcome. We're back in Ark Scorched Earth. Ah, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. Hopefully you guys are hype. Anyways, welcome back. Let's lift off. We settled our uh, relatively, relatively nice little little home here. We got a uh, little little water vein where we can drink up on water, and we got the basics covered, so we should not be dying to the environment anytime soon. However, Raptors. That's another story. Sweet Mamo Lens Flare. How the hell do I turn that off again? It's like R dot bloom quality. We'll go like 0.3. There we Still blinded. Okay. Don't look in that direction. That direction's no good. Anyways, today, what I want to do is... So I got a goal today, right? I want to tame something. I want to tame something new. From what I know. From what I know. The Jerboa. Like that little, little, little baby kangaroo. That thing seems the easiest to tame. Why? It's a little baby, and it doesn't fight back. So the game plan here is, we want to hit level 10 so we can make a slingshot. Just kidding, we can already make a slingshot. We're making a slingshot. And we're going to try to knock one of them out. So what we need is a little bit of fiber and a little bit of wood. And then we're going to go Jerboa hunting. Now, there are some bigger animals and whatnot that I do want to tame too, and that's the big thing. I want to focus on just taming some cool stuff right now. And then hopefully through our miscellaneous adventures we get through during our tames, we'll be able to level up and check out some of the new stuff. Speaking of new stuff, we of course have the Scorched Earth Engrams, Preserving Salt and Clay are two things. But then soon we will learn the Boomerang in a level two. And I'm excited to check out that Boomerang. Ooh, I feel like an say Just oh, oh, throw some shrimp on the barbie that might. <laughs> Something like that along those lines. Anyways, we should be able to get our slingshot going. And once that thing is done so, we just need a little bit of stone, and then we're gonna hopefully go and try to knock it out. We got like 20 some narco berries. I don't know if it takes meat. I don't know what it takes. We do have meat here that spoils really quickly, but we got a big stack of it, so we should be able to tame it up. My taming speed is accelerated as well, so especially with a little baby like that, we should be able to do it. We got our beautiful Ankies returning from Ark, and uh, oh, I think I see a Jerboa in the distance. Hello, little baby. Oh, look at the Jerboa. All right, well. Hey buddy, you want you want to be tamed? How do I tame you? Can I like feed you or do I have to knock you out? All right, sorry little man, wild mare Jerboa, you're getting knocked out. Oh, we're getting the hit markers too. Sorry buddy, get back here. Come on, I'm just trying to knock. Oh, look at that. All right, easy. Two stones knock the guy out, and as you can see here, his topor goes down real nice and real slow. That Anki sounded kind of pissed. I thought maybe I I, I angered him. I did not anger him, so we're going to throw some berries on there. He eats the berries. Uh, we don't have any meho berries. We do have some narco berries. And with how quick the taman's going, he's going to eat up a couple here. A couple tinto berries. His food goes down pretty quick, actually, so this shouldn't be too long of a tame. I'm going to... Uh, I'll leave the meat there because it spoils a little bit slower. But pretty soon, we should be the owners of a fresh, brand new gerbo. Also, I don't know why. I looked into the difficulty. Right now, the difficulty, I think the max level is like 50. So just kind of really weird that we're finding a lot of these low levels. I don't know why the low levels are that much more common, but they are. So apologies, I guess. And Jerboa, come on, buddy. I want, I want you. I want you. I'm also gonna give you a couple of these narco berries here. Literally, you only need a few. You don't even need to make narcotics for the guy. Like at least a level one here. I get it. It's a level one, but it's like a narco. Like he has 30 topor. It's not a big deal. Those big guys over there, on the other hand, I am interested in knocking them out. And I want to see these things. I want to see what those things are capable of, what they can do. And also, there's some more perils in the desert that I read up on. Apparently, there's like death worms or something. There's wyverns, which is the dragons that we know and love. Also, where did that, uh, where did the Jerboa go? Down here? Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Nasty cough. Jerboa. Will you be my friend soon? Oh, he's going to be our friend so soon. Taming effectiveness is pretty low. He's a level 1. It doesn't matter. We'll go, we'll go try to get a level 150 sometime soon. But in the meantime, taming this thing, really easy, right? If you're on a normal tame server, though, he'll still get knocked out from a slingshot. But here we go. The Jerboa, scientifically speaking, it's an adorable little fuzzball, and I just want to have it forever. Harmless and lovable is inadequate as a defense mechanism. Uh, the bottom of the food chain, easy meal. So it's like the dodo of here, pretty much. Domesticated, cutest little companion in the desert. Close study and or cuddling have taught me that it is an instinctive understanding of this land's weather patterns. When the weather's about to change, it'll suddenly start behaving differently. Okay, and speaking of that, I hear a lot of wind right now. Jerboa, 
comment section down below. Let me know. Let me know. This is how it works. I gotta ask you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna name him, uh, uh, Cuddly McCuddleface. Or Cuddle McCuddleface. There we go. Well, that, that'll be his name in the meantime, right? Actually, I kind of want to, I kind of want to keep this name. Maybe we won't name this one. I'm sorry, but following me, Distance Medium, I am his owner. And come on, get over here, little buddy. Come on, I got to get you out in the open so I can just appreciate your adorableness. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. Oh my god, it looks like a freaking Neopet. Have you guys played Neopets? Look at him. It's like, it's like a cat kangaroo. It's adorable. Oh, can I pet you? Can I pet you? I can't pet you. Come on. Let me pet him. I need a pet cuddle McCuddle face. Look at him. He's just asking for it. Look at how adorable he is. Oh my god. So cute. Okay, speaking of that, let's check out the stats though. Alright, that's enough ooing and aahing over it. Check out his stats, see what he's got for us. I'm also gonna store all my stuff on him, just so he kinda holds on to that, the stuff that might spoil. In terms of stats, 50 health, 100 stamina, 130 melee damage, he's not gonna be a fighter. I don't wanna fight him, I don't wanna lose him. I've lost too many dinos in this harsh world. Well, not this world, but the other world we were in. So, let's go ahead, how do I change you to follow distance, is set to... I wanna set, wait, to low? Are you on low now? No, it's still medium. Uh, no, we'll just have you follow. There you go. All right, so follow me, little guy. I'm going to try to get you home. All right, get you a nice home. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to level up. You got to get some levels so we can tame up those big guys. Right? Now, I don't know how long that's going to take. Depending on how effective we are with getting those levels, it shouldn't be too long. You know, it feels good, though, not having to worry about dying of heat stroke. I don't I think all the cloth, cloth clothing helped out with that. You can get some water there and let's let's bring you let's bring you over here little guy. Now, I don't think you can come inside my house, but I'll go ahead. I'll just leave you there. You know, don't wander off or nothing. Don't be too risky, but I'll I'll leave you there. All right, so you stay put. In the meantime, I'm going to go out. I want to explore a little bit. See what we got around us, right? Maybe even pick a fight with a raptor. That'll be a good way of getting some XP. Even you know, if we could level up, get those boomerangs, that'd, that'd be a good win. Speaking of that, there's an easy way we could do that, of course. We could just craft a bunch of stuff, and I think I'm going to do that. So we're just going to drop those, get ourselves a bunch of thatch, and then just build a bunch of walls while we're doing all of this. So hopefully what that'll do is just give us the XP. Because once we get level 10, we get the boomerang. Once we get the boomerang, we can start having some fun with some new stuff consistently. Now, I'm hearing a low growl. What the hell? Oh, just a listosaur. Eh, I don't even care about you, buddy. You're old news. Just kidding. Don't still care about old news. Just I don't care about you as much as my adorable little listosaur. Not listosaur. Woo! Look at the kangaroos over there getting chased. Oh, this is a deep. Oh, speaking of deep canyon, we just found an oasis. Boys, we might we might migrate down there. That might not be a bad call, and it looks a lot cooler down there. There's shade, I don't think that really matters, but it does look cooler. If we build a parachute, we can migrate there pretty easily. I'll consider it, to say the least. I will, I will. But other than that, anything else cool near us? I mean, we're just, we're on the edge of this ridge. Oh, there's a lot of oasises. Yo, if we go down there, we're A-OK -okay in terms of water. Yeah, that, that, that won't be a problem at all. Now, can we build a bridge over there? I don't know. So it appears that we're pretty uh, limited in terms of what we can do there. Let's go and craft up some stuff. Let's get that next level. Right. I'll just get some thatch walls, craft up all those. There should be enough to hit, hit us there, right? One of us, one of them gets us 5 XP. It'll be enough. Gonna be a bit slower in the meantime, but boomerang inbound. When we get that boomerang, whoo, we're gonna mess around with that a little bit. In the meantime, though, keep looking around. There's a cool little arch off there in the distance. Now, uh, we gotta find all the cave locations of this new place, too, right? That's gonna be part of the adventure. Is that a cave down there? That kind of looks like it might be an entrance. Oh, sweet baby level. We hit 10. That means, uh, hello, boomer. What? I am level 10, though. What are you? Oh, we gotta level up first. My bad. Hello, boomerang. Your trusty ranged weapon and a tent. We need the sleeping bag first, though. So let's get the sleeping bag. 
Let's build up this tent. I want to see what the tent does. What is that? A portable tent where you can take cover in hostile environments. So pretty much, if things start getting rough, that's our go-to for you kind of like, you know, wussing out of that. That's actually really cool. That is really, really nice. Now we got some trees down there as well. Kind of bigger trees. I don't know if that's a cave entrance there. It looks like it might be. I really can't tell, but when we go down there, we'll definitely check that out. That that has to be a cave entrance. Just look at the way it's shaped. It's just saying, enter me. I'll enter you, all right. As soon as I get a parachute crafted, and I'm ready to move down there. I would not mind living down there. Maybe I'll build like a huge ladder over here, but it appears if we head that way, there's a lot of stuff that we can benefit from if we go there. If we settle there, that's kind of like the hub. We can go a bunch of directions from there. Hopefully we find some good stuff. We got the obelisk that way. We're gonna wanna take an adventure to an obelisk soon. And uh, what is this, a jug bug? We might wanna take out the jug bug real quick. We're getting kind of thirsty, right? Oh, you know what I wanna do first, actually? Why don't we craft up some water skins? One water skin. Let's see if we can fill the water skin up with the jug bug. That'd be a cool feature. Speaking of cool features though, did we craft up that boomerang yet? Hello boomerang, I need some fiber. All right, boomerangs, sand, wood, and fiber. All you need, they're gonna be easy. And the question is, do we craft multiple? Like, are they gonna break? Do they not come back? How's that work? That's something we gotta figure out. So, we'll craft up one for now, and then we'll grab a little bit of wood, craft up another one. Are jug bugs tameable? Huh, actually, ah, uh, you know, I mean, let's try it, why not? I mean, what, what do we have to lose? Ah, uh, we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of stones though. Let's pick up some more stones, right? And then we'll go try and knock a couple of them out, see what we can get. There we go, we're up to like 14 stones, that should be plenty. Let's see if we can knock out the jug bug. Hello jug bug, worst case we kill it, right? Get back here, buddy, I just want to tame you. Enter my family. I have a good family. Oh God. He he dipped. He really dipped. Well, see a jug bug. I should have just murdered you. Uh, that's unfortunate. And yeah, we got the jug bugs flying around. I think that is the game plan. We're gonna parachute down there. I think there's gonna be a lot more stuff available to us there than the barren wastes of here. Now the thing is, I think if we go to the north, ultimately we want to go north. Apparently the north has the more harder stuff because if during the spawn screen if you look at it It actually does let you know that like north it has the hard everything else is easy North is hard, so I'm kind of curious if that kind of like Correlates to something. I don't know. Let's craft up two boomerangs here 10 on the other hand we need a little bit of thatch a little bit of wood Let's go and chop down a tree. We'll get that thing going especially if we want to be portable with our adventures That thing will come in handy why are your boas only level one? What are these things? What is that? Morella tops? Okay. So, not that. That's the entirely wrong thing. Let's see what level we get their saddle. Morel 15. When we have 15, maybe we'll try to tame one with a, with a slingshot. I don't see why not. Uh, it's gonna start getting cold, isn't it? I think so. And we've yet to build a campfire either. We should put, yeah, it's starting to get cold. I know the desert, that's how the desert works. We need a couple stone, a couple thatch. So we'll just get a bunch of thatch. A little bit of wood here. And then we gotta pick up some stone on the way home. Hopefully, nah, we can't lose home. Home's right there. We're home on the range, boys. Also, oh my god, it just got really dark. And I, okay, I couldn't pick up stone for a sec there either. That was kind of weird. I'm kind of scared. Like, what if the bad creatures come out during the night? Either way, let's crank up Gamma 4. There we go. I like seeing during the night. Thank you, game. We'll be able to see if anything lethal comes out during these times. Okay, well, we still got the boomerangs. Love to try these things out. Oh, boomerang time. Uh, other than that, though, we got a water skin. We'll fill that up next time we adventure. Let's get the tent going. This is really bright, by the way. Sorry. You guys hear that? I hear that. It doesn't sound good. Sounds like there's like bugs outside. I feel like the bugs are really big too. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Let's uh... We're gonna toss... Can we not throw this down? Our house is... Crap. 
No, that does not sound good. There are things out there. Do you hear that? Oh no. Let's eat a bunch of berries, get our food up. Not just munch on these things real quick. Clear those out, clear out a couple pounds of food here. Hopefully lighten us up so we can put the sleeping bag somewhere. That's what I'm worried about here. It's not letting me put down a goddamn sleeping bag. How do you not let me put down a sleeping bag, game? Eh? Come on. Alright, well, I mean, if we lose this, is it that bad? It's pretty bad. Okay. I hear those bugs outside. I want to see what they are. I really do want to see what they are. This tent is so heavy, though. Is there anything else we could drop? There is. We could put it on our, on our little buddy. First things first. Put the sleeping bag down. Oh, God. Freaking the Eye of Sorin raining down on us, but those bugs. There's something over there. Just jug bugs. Alright, I guess it doesn't get that much deadlier. Alright, well in the meantime, why don't we kill this jug bug, right? I don't mind some oil. Get back here. Give me your oil, jug bug. He's not giving me his oil. Yeah, well Iosaurin might be, you know, raining down on us. We're still pretty safe here. Oh, we could have used our boomerang on him. What was I thinking? How does this thing work? I guess we'll figure it out. I mean, jug bugs are the best thing to test these on. I know they're not piss off the really big things. Ooh. Okay, that's just an Anki. That's just an Anki. I panicked for a sec. It's still kind of cold out here, though. So our food does drop a little bit quicker than normal. I'm going to keep the meho berries on us. In case we need to tame an herbivore. Mehos are the best. And daytime is coming. Okay. I don't know where that bug ran off to. When can we craft a parachute? I'm, I'm going to be ready to move out. You know, we're not too restricted to this home. Parachute. Level 15. So 15 is around the time that moves can start being made. Speaking of that, let's bring Gamma down a little bit. I think this is where the Gamma was at before. I just got to find a jug bug now. I don't know where they all ran off to. We could try out the tent too. Ooh, no, we're dehydrated. No, 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 no. You know, let's try it out on the Jerboa. Why not? Hello, Jerboa. Let's throw it at the Jerboa. Oh, I got it back. Look at that. Did I just knock out the... Did I just knock him out? No way. Boomerangs are a taming tool? I... That's actually really cool. Dude, boomerangs. Speak of the devil. I want to try out this tent. I know we get a limited amount of uses. But it's not super expensive. I wouldn't mind seeing what this thing's capable of, right? Seems to be pretty damn cool. We'll throw it down here in a sec. As soon as we get the chance. There we go. Look at that. We can open the tents. We go inside and we get kind of like this protected status symbol. So I don't know how this works if we pick it up. Does that use up its durability at all? Um, no, it, do it does. Barely. You can see we have to repair it. Apparently we gotta use silk to repair it too. Oh, the little thing pooped. I uh, gotta use silk to repair it too, but... So here's the bad news. We can't fill up our water in this thing. Do you guys see that? We can't fill up water in the water vein. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's defecate in the water vein real quick. And at this point, we're just going to be playing the leveling game, I think. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be leveling up, little guy. Oh, he got a level. Yeah. Well, I don't even know what to go up. Let's go up in health. Oh, he got six health. Oh, so crazy. <clears throat> Anyways, those guys. If we get enough boomerangs, maybe we can tame him up. As I say, we try to craft up some boomerangs. Go YOLO. What do we have to lose? Right? I kind of wouldn't mind finding a raptor, but what do we have to lose right now? So what we want to do is get fiber, plenty of it. We'll be picking some of that stuff up. We could try killing that Anki too at a distance. We could try knocking it out, seeing how that goes. Now all this is going on, let's make sure we eat our berries, lighten up our load a little bit, use all of those. We might put up our weight limit too. We should probably start doing that here in our survival. And uh, we can, we're just gonna save up our engram points right now. But let's max craft the boomerangs. We're gonna have a lot of them. 
So there's a chance of them breaking every time we use them. I think that's how it is. And I mean, they're more effective than a slingshot at knocking things out. Like, did you guys see that? When it took us two rocks to knock out a Jerboa, Boomerang did it way quicker. Also, this guy might be stuck on a tree, so this might be the perfect, uh, perfect little test. So why don't we go here in the distance? Let's get on a good rock. 